so I'll just drift a little smoke over see once I move that they the activity settled down a little bit all right so go ahead and just gently lift up that first frame yep let's count those one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so that is frame 12 in a 14 frame box all right so they are starting to draw comb but not much so don't worry about anything else just go ahead and set it back down but move it to the very end when when um, when you see comb like that that's just being drawn and you see the bees dangling uh, that's a delicate phase of their of their comb building yeah so we just try to disturb that as little as possible all right so now go on to the next one okay then then just slide it back Sting the glove? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, cool. Go, let's go ahead and pull that up, unless it looks particularly fragile. Yeah, so it's half drawn. They they stopped at. Oh no, I don't have a dowel there. So it's about halfway drawn. Now, what type of cells do you see on the side that you're observing? They look uh, they look very white, very clean. Mm -hmm. Pretty so, do you see a difference in size? Compare these cells to those cells down there. Yeah, they are drone cells. Looks like they're starting to cap. Yep, yeah, you got some capped honey. And if you look on this side, there's even more capped honey. Okay, but all of that is, is honey, so just go ahead and set it back down. Yep, the honey frames will be heavier than heavier than brood frames. Now you can, there you go. All right, we're gonna loosen up the next frame. Yep, stung the glove. He's stuck, she's stuck. So you can just shake her off. Yeah. Yep. yep. Equipment you can trust is a big part of the job. <laughs> Yeah, folks on the who watch the video might be interested in that though. Look at that. Yeah, and that's uh, on this side at least. It's all used for honey storage. So we're going to say that's 75% uh, drawn. Uh, there is some drone size cells and some worker size cells, uh -huh. but it's all all capped for honey. So just go ahead and slide it right back down. These bees are pretty well behaved. They're not they're not hitting us like those uh, ones from the water water meter box were doing. All right. That was frame nine. So the next one will be frame eight. For anybody who wonders why I keep calling out the numbers, it's because when I, after I make these videos, I go and take notes in a spreadsheet 
by frame so I can track what's happening in each environment as we go. Sorry about any shaky video. We uh, left the tripod in the truck. All right. That one has a few spots of brood, but it's mostly, mostly honey. And uh, once again, we've got a mix of worker size and uh, drone size cells. What do you see on that side? I see capped at the top. Mm -hmm. I think that's brood. Yep. That's and right. Drones at the bottom. Dr yeah, drone size cells anyway. Yep. yep. And those are those are drone brood. See how they they're kind of bubbled over. They're bullet shaped. Those are, we've got drone brood there. All right, that's probably 90% built out and mostly honey. So I would say that marks the very first, uh, I think there was one or two cells of brood on a previous, slot, a previous frame. But that's the first one with any significant amount of brood. So go on to the next one, that will be seven. on my on the groups and Facebook commenting about this type of white dust on the top of some of the bees. Actually, you know what? It seems like the corn is very white-ish. Yeah, yeah, we do have some very, very white pollen here, I think. All right. Frame seven. Okay, now we've got, this one has been used more for brood. We still have drone brood here, but above it and below it, we have uh, honey storage, nectar storage. Uh, how's it look on that side? Okay, yep, go ahead and just place that back down. Yeah, that's where, uh, th there's a little bit of a gap in the bottom next time we come there may be a little bit of comb hanging from the bottom of the frame that's not not altogether desirable but it's not a terrible thing get some of these bees out of the gap there seeing more brood but we also see that it is being heavily backfilled with nectar you can see the glistening in those empty cells where brood is hatched out from so we've got brood at the bottom um, this uh, we'll keep looking but if I had to make a judgment just based on what we saw see have seen so far uh, this hive is at risk of, of swarming pretty soon. We'll add two more frames today. We don't have enough capped honey uh, to pull it for harvest, but next time I come out, I will probably be pulling some frames just so we can... Um... Oh, you know what we do have? I've got one, got one frame with me that is empty, empty cells, so the queen can start laying right away. Uh, at the end, when we're done. Because the queen mostly hangs... Oh, up. no, the, you're right. I, I should probably put it near the front. Go ahead and let's close that up. Because the queen is going to be laying normally, uh, normally closest to the entry point for fresh air. Yeah, 
So near the entrance is where the brood is typically concentrated. Now eventually, oh, I did bring a, nope. Eventually I will want to take this lid and replace it with one that has ventilation holes in the lid. Uh, but so far they weren't, be uh, oh, a little more smoke. Lots of brood once again. Okay, I can tell just from a distance that there's very little space for the queen to lay. Uh, let's look at this side. Yep, yeah. all right, go ahead and slide that down. Definitely have a box full of bees here. Good frame, but filling up with honey. Okay, so it's got capped honey at the top, nectar everywhere. There's an empty cell and some brood that's hatching out and being back filled with honey as it, as it goes. So we see a pattern here. A lot of brood. Yep. So we're going to give them one frame with uh, empty comb to. Uh, frame with empty comb for the queen to lay in to try to forestall swarming. Yeah, the closer, the more you get to the, the brood, the, the heart of the brood nest, the more irritable they get. They're not going to get you though. They're, they're just be bold. <laughs> I've been through Africanized bees. Yep. And you know, you think about that, that time, they never did sting you through the suit. Yeah. Is that one broken loose? No, it's okay. Looks like it was connected to the, the next one. Okay. Yeah, this one's got some weight. Yep. Okay, same pattern as always before. We've got so there, there's there's plenty of pollen on this one besides the the nectar. Okay, that's good. Let's go ahead and just slide that back down. now. a little section where they're doing some double layering on the comb. We'll have to correct that eventually. Yep, yep. Okay. Um, I don't see an abundance of places for the queen to lay. So go ahead and put it back down. Right. Go ahead and 
Lighten it up. Pull out that last one, frame one. This is really going to be the most angry. No. No, this is like maximum alert that you're seeing right now. Okay. Lots of brood there. Okay, so uh, let's push that one up against the wall and hold there. I'm going to go get the other. Okay, now go ahead and insert the one that has the comb on it uh, in that position right there. And then we're going to start sliding everything up against it. Everything is going that way? Actually, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yep. Try to get the beans out before you push them tight. Pull that out completely because yeah, we're going to fill we're going to fill all 14 spaces with frames. So pull that. That's right. And it's a little tricky because I had to. It's kind of got a notch on it. Uh oh. All right. Let's see if you can turn it a little more sideways to get it out. I'm going to set this down. Let me pull out another frame. Now try. Yep. Listen to that buzz. Okay. All right, so this hive is now strong enough. When I first put the uh, bees in here, they were kind of a small colony, and so I left the um, opening a little a little small to protect them against robbers so if you get the lid I'll smoke the bees off of the top all right and then go ahead and put them back in so there we go yes hive one inspected what did we learn we learned what are our next steps for this hive? The next step would be to, I think, collect the honey. Yep. Because that would make more room for us to add more stuff since this population is pretty big. Yep. Uh, we learned that from the entrance is where they do most of the, the brood, and that's where all the babies are. Towards the middle is a lot of the storage, and it seems like they're working their way to the back. Yep. So all right. We would add the new frames always to the back. Typically, unless unless it unless you're adding frames with comb, and your intent is to give the queen more space to lay. So if I have a frame with comb already drawn, uh, then we'll put one up closer to the brood nest. Uh, otherwise, we'll put it back here. All right, that's all for that hive.